of them. False prophets. There have been many false prophets in the world labeled as false, pointing people towards ways of love that people have called false. Many are going to say, Lord, Lord, and he's going to say, I don't know you. To all people that are loveless, that have their love lights being turned out, many are going to perish. I don't know how many that is. Some things are just labeled God's business, and we can leave that alone. But I don't think many is going to be all that many. Uh, because those who love are born of God and as long as we let our love shine before we die and be born again to have our love moving as a little child as a verb instead of a noun uh, waxing cold having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof uh, we must remove ourselves from the land of the walking dead and regardless of the loudest warnings of our Lord and regardless of his firmest commandments that he is giving in this hour through his messenger of love, the disobedience of many sorry souls will still keep believing in modern day false prophets who are mocking his word of truth by words of deceit. These days I listen to... Um, uh, not many people anymore about anything dealing with end time prophecy. Nobody has a correct understanding of it at all. It has been teached erroneously by all teachers for the last 2,000 years. You want to know the truth of end time prophecy, you must come to this Kingdom Age channel. It is the only one. So it's time that people need to stop trusting in the simplicity of li lives that so easily has been believed by many uh, because people don't even know what's good. Uh, they call evil good and good evil. It's a wixed up uh, world. Uh, wixing our merds and uh, it's time that we stop doing that. We got to stop being a uh, clutter brain and focus. And as we do focus upon his love at this Christmas season and beyond, beautiful things are, are going to unfold. So praise the Lord that the enemies of our true faith of love are preaching a bastardized message that Christ was never even crucified or that he ran off with a, a, a wife and lived out the remainder of his life as a father of many children. But unenlightened liars presenting such heresy shall only experience the hottest fires of God's most fervent wrath as they suffer multitudes of torment, seemingly lasting a, a, a eternity if they will let their love die out. And it doesn't, it's not about believing in Christ. Jesus says, all sin, even committed against me, will be forgiven, but not against the Holy Spirit of love whom the God is also. And so it, we must reverse the curse by making sure our love is, is, is uh, stirred up unto overflowing. And even if we're walking two steps forward and one step back, as many of us do, uh, at least we're still going in the right direction. So let's heed now the Lord's gospel truth of love and let the de deceived who have been because this whole earth has been covered by gross darkness, just as Isaiah 60 has foretold. So let all people uh, thank the Lord for his most forgiving mercy that he's speaking for one and all of us at this holiday season. For the, these are the days of Shiloh, the days of Elijah, the days of the latter-day Daniel, days of Joshua, Zechariah 3, days of the flying scroll, Zechariah 5, time of the uh, mystery of God being over, Revelation 10, 7. These are the most uh, amazing days when prophecy has now been satisfied and manifested in the hearing of those that care to hear. So in this hour, he has said unto all of us, 
I will be your God. You will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity. I will never remember it. I will write my law and my love upon your heart. Beyond that, no one shall ever need to be taught of me anymore, says the Lord God. For all shall know me from the least to the greatest of all mankind. For all of us as babies with our faith alive as a little child, all of us have known God. But we get bitter and unforgiving and we let it die. We walk the perilous road of perishing if we let that light go out. Watch the video called The Deathbed Confession of Anton LaVey. He was the writer of the Book of Satan. And I tell you, he was saved and redeemed on his deathbed. And he was like, oh my God, oh my God, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Because he had already written the Book of Satan. Couldn't take it back. But uh, the bottom line is he met love on his deathbed. And love introduced himself and let Anton know he was beloved too. So know ye not that ignorant leaders against the arms of the Lord being so... Uh, so short or that can't imagine his arms short enough to save they are hypocrites worthy of being jackals just as jesus called the fire uh, pharisees vipers it's not even understood that uh, uh, until now that the lord god is now speaking his word of love that comes with his kingdom age covenant given as the message of the great white throne um, to bring forth the end of the age of grace by Christ's own word. He said in Matthew 24, 22, that unless his word cut time short, uh, uh, that no flesh could be saved. Only God can cut time short by his word. So praise the Lord that uh, all the deaf shepherds preaching against, against this channel will have grunge in their face because the Lord is promising that he will take the grunge from our feasts and mush it in faces in Malachi too. And you don't want to even know about what that grunge is, but let's just say it's a little bit stinky. And so know therefore it's the most glorious day in these beginning age days of the kingdom age understandings finally arising. These are the days when a, a brand new standard of blazing love gloriously shining radiantly for one and all with the resplendence of the stars as shimmering star sapphires on a cold blue day. <laughs> And so praise the God that uh, the new standard shall now be raised up by the Lord's spirit of love to help his faithful few that haven't had spiritual discernment as of yet. So know that the praises of our Lord Isa Yeshua, Jesus, the word of God living, uh, it is time for his word to really be valued. Therefore, the Psalms of Christ herein must now be allowed to resound uh, in a multitude of uh, congregations of all religions to accomplish this. The Lord is pulling down the strongholds of all religion and the wheat and the tares cannot grow together any longer. But have pity upon all foolish men feeling that the Quran and the Bible both should be worshiped as living organisms uh, since they believe the word of God could never speak out again. But it was foretold that Christ would come forth on the great white cloud of Matthew 24, the same great white cloud of Revelation 14, when the Lord uh, comes upon that great white cloud of his glory and sinks his everlasting gospel, the sickle of his word, into the earth to reap it for love for his harvest. And it's the sword must be beat into the sickle, the sword of distortional knowing in part looking through a glass darkly faith must be beat into the clarity of the sickle of god's love so that man can finally shine as the stars that we were most fearfully and uh, created to be wonderfully created to be and uh, all those opposing all, all the Lord sending new messages of hope, new meat being offered for his people, as he sa said, asked in Matthew 24, who will come and feed the master's household meat? He had already told them it was the Elijah servant of Isaiah 49, 
who has done everything in my life for in vain, but Christ shall have his way and the, the uh, darkest gross darkness will be as dust under his feet. Uh, because if people will not listen, they're imagining that his tongue, Christ's tongue fell out of his mouth 2,000 years ago, and he has nothing more he could ever say to mankind. And how sorry souls, uh, such sorry souls are they. Uh, because the Lord says this, of things to come concerning the future of my sons and daughters and the work of my hands, command ye me. Isaiah 45, and he wants us all to have that kind of command ye me faith, and I did. Next thing I knew, I was writing by a lamp uh, for seven minutes that was never plugged in. The, the cord was three, four feet away from the uh, wall when I realized what was happening. So believe not immature people of God. Let God be true and all people liars, as the word of God says. Don't, do you not know, beloved, that uh, all of our righteousness has been as filthy rags compared to the Lord's transcendent love that has followed each and every one of us to the gates of hell? And do you not understand that his love is always there for us and has never uh, left us even if we have left him? So it's time that uh, we realize that our beloved Lord of love who arises in the splendor of his own majesty, he has never changed. He is the same yesterday and today and evermore. So ask yourself, has the race of Adam ever been in such a days of distress as these? These are the days of Revelation 3's trial of all flesh coming to bring God's word of patience, to keep us from the hour of the temptation, not to change. We must arise as the brotherhood of man that Christ foretold in Gethsemane. And for that reason, that has been his message, that in these days of Elijah, Israel has now inherited all mankind. And uh, they have inherited Israel, have inherited Christianity and Islam as well. And that is why the Lord has named them Chrislam just as Isaiah 62 too, foretold that he would give them a new name at the appointed time after they received their kingdom age covenant. And ask yourself, is there any better time for the prophecy of the last chapter of Daniel to be manifested? And the brilliant thing is that just as Daniel 12, 1 foretold Satan being removed for a thousand years, so too has that come to pass because see we've leaned to our own understandings we did not realize that the first are last and the last are first and uh, so uh, people have prophecy in their head this got to happen this got to happen this got to happen all in chronological order but satan being removed was one of the first things had to happen because god has given his covenant message uh, that he told Jeremiah would tear everything down, Jeremiah 1.10. And I am the strong and mighty one uh, of uh, the writer, uh, line by line, precept by precept of Isaiah 28, uh, who would be like a, a destroying storm to tear down all false religion, uh, the same tearing down action that Jeremiah 1.10 and Haggai 2.2 2 foretold that uh, Jeremiah's word would go before me and that uh, God would tear down all kingdoms of man's imaginations not built solely on his unconditional love. So it's time that we listen and stand, uh, uh, stand ready to move in the spirit and rebuke not. So um, good things, but we do rebuke all stagnant winds of disgusting hot air blowing with a great stench out of the steaming mouths of hot-headed shepherds who have no spiritual discernment at all because they despise change. So now have all spiritual leaders of this world, they have to have it drilled into their naive minds that reliable truths concerning Jesus Christ Almighty could never be found outside of the canonized gospels. 
but truth is contained herein because I bring God's word anew, opening just as Daniel 12, 9 foretold, to tear down all imaginations uh, against un his unconditional love. And praise God, free at last can we be. And know therefore the true men of God even have been false in many ways for the last 2,000 years because our religion has been built crookedly. And our carpenter of the ages, our, our woodworker of love, he comes to tear down before he builds up for the kingdom age. And by the confession of countless uh, of error that has been countless true people of God have continually reinforced the untruths that revelation knowledge could never again be expected, which throws uh, the Lord into the cant box. But how can you restore all things? Matthew 17, 11, as uh, the end time Elijah, not the, not the first Elijah, that is, one of the, that is who would come as the two witnesses, Moses and the uh, first Elijah of Revelation 11. The Elijah that I'm talking about is the writer, line by line, precept by precept, Isaiah 28, uh, the writer of uh, the, the vision of God, um, Habakkuk 2, because the vision was written plainly on the tablets, so all those who would read it that may run. The writer that Moses foretold, one like Moses, Deuteronomy 18, 18, a covenant giver and a writer. So nor have uh, spiritual leaders, uh, they, they have to turn around. Uh, and it has to be by the word of love. So these are the days when the foolishness of mankind has decided that ancient scripture would evermore remain closed canons, which means they would ignore the message that would prepare the Lord's way of Malachi 3.1. Even from the covenant messenger, Jesus was never the covenant messenger of the everlasting covenant, even though he wrote it even though it was inspired of the Holy Spirit through inspiration given unto Jeremiah. But he never uh, repeated the words of the covenant once. You cannot be a messenger of something unless you're telling people what it is. I have 3,000 videos giving the Kingdom Age covenant promise to all mankind as it was correctly uh, written. So know, therefore, it's time that people have to be willing to receive guidance, the guidance of, from one who would feed the master's household of meat. Because Jesus couldn't give any new word of love unto anyone, uh, regardless of his own desires, according to the naive in the world. But he is sending forth a testimony of his everlasting love so that uh, God could pour out his spirit spirit of absolute adoration over all mankind, just as the prophet Joel foretold. So it's time that we get with the program and hoist up the flag of truth, of his overflowing charity, his overflowing beneficence, of his magnificence, and the, that, that those good tidings are coming as his very best wishes sent as a gently blown kiss can you receive the ocean of his love that is guaranteed because he says unto all people of the earth I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it and other than the uh, unforgivable sin of letting your love light go right out there if he threw one of us into uh, hell uh, come a judgment day he would be a liar because he has declared that he will forgive us all iniquity just as jesus has said just google it jesus said all sins shall be forgiven man except the unforgivable sin i could not make that up so love from love hope from hope these are the days to have kingdom age hope anew to to arise in the knowledge that god has our backs and that just as it was at the beginning in the at babylon the Lord God is again 
saying unto all people, if my people will stand together, there is absolutely nothing that they cannot achieve. That is our word of comfort, that we have the answers to solving all of the world's problems, as long as we will energize his love in us. Let it become, yea, uh, uh, an inferno of the heart of, of Christ, the mind of Christ, the oneness of his love, the oneness of his hope, love, peace, the poetry that is in motion through his word alone. Love from love. Bye.